Hello, hello! My name is Janice and today we are going to learn how to design a children's party printables in Illustrator. Okay. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and click the bell button and I'll see you in the tutorial next. What we are going to focus on today is designing um, a children's party buntings like this one here you can see below so there's different types of design you can make but today our topic would be under the theme of um, teddy bears uh, teddy bears is a very popular uh, theme with children a lot of them like teddy bears and it could be for your daughter's or niece's or a friend's um, a birthday party. So we are going to do our children's bunting. So first of all, um, I'd like you to download a template from the... You can just Google bunting template and it brings you up a little picture like this. I've downloaded mine. So it looks like this here. So once you've downloaded it, we'll open a new file, just file new, and I'll select an A3 size, and landscape, press OK. Again, we're just going to bring in the bunting template into the new artboard, we just put it aside. And what we are going to do instead of tracing it using the pen tool which you can do um, I I'm going to do the lazy way and do an image trace so we'll click an image trace I think that looks good and I'm just going to click expand and ungroup so I'll just delete the background delete all the unnecessary things that we don't need okay as you can see there's a little bit of a um, let's see there's a little bit of a oh, we don't want this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rectangle tool draw over a box over it and I'm going to use my pathfinder and under shape modes I'm going to use this compound shape and add to shape area so I want to get rid of this but if I do get rid of it there leaves a little bit of a hole in there and I don't want that so the easiest way for me is to just select the box and the path together and just click um and click this so it sort of it sort of gets rid of the hole and just um it combines both shapes into one object so that's the main purpose of that change it to white okay that's fine doesn't matter if you leave a little bit of gap here doesn't matter so what we are going to do now is I'm going to bring up my Hopeless Romantic Toolkit. You can use any creative resources you have, any theme that you like. You can purchase them from Creative Market or uh, Design Cards or whatever is your favorite um, marketplace to buy. But today I'm going to focus on my rem Hopeless Romantic Toolkit which I've created. <coughs> If you want to know, learn more, you can go to janusdesigns.co and under shop in graphics and that's where you can learn more about the Hopeless Romantic Toolkit. So once you've downloaded it, I'll open my Illustrator file and I'm just going to grab the bare graphics, I'll just open it up. Um, also just click yes. I'm also going to open the Doodles Illustrator 
yep and uh, we'll go to the watercolor patterns okay once I've got my resources up <clears throat> so since our theme is teddy bears I'm just gonna grab this pattern here Control C or Command C on Mac go to your artboard Control V or Command V and once I paste in here if you open your swatches panel you will notice the Love Bear swatches automatically being uh, placed in the swatches panel so you can just delete it okay so I'll select this and select Love Bears and it brings that um, design out so it's, it's pretty straightforward very easy Oops. We'll just select the whole thing and group it control G or command G there's another way to do this uh, instead of tracing it if you just want to, to simply do a triangle that's fine um, what I'll get you to do is to hover over rectangle 2 so hover on rectangle tool, hold it down, you go to polygon tool, click once and type the number of sides. So because it's a rectangle, I'll put three sides, press OK, use your rotate tool shift and rotate 180 degrees and it'll just stretch it out. It's a rectangle that gives you equal sides. But if you want to do something like um, you want to trace over something like this size, you can just put a different color for now. Um, you can always put it together like this. Use your direct selection tool, click on one point, use your shift and stretch it out make sure this point touches the other end as well so I'm just gonna make sure so this is the lazy way to trace it over and using the last point to go over the trace over the uh, the bunting template I think that looks pretty hunky-dory so the next part is this part at the top. I'll just use my pen tool or click P on your keyboard. Click, shift, click. And doesn't have to be perfect because this part is just going to be the folded part. And that's all you have to do. So if I want to I'll just it comes up like this okay so if I want to make this into one object again I use my selection tool I press V on the keyboard select shift select go to pathfinder and I'll click the first shape mode button to combine the paths to make a one object one object path so We'll go back to your swatches panel and click on the teddy bears and that's another way to do the bunting. So there's two ways uh, you've learned today. And so we want to, let's say, what we're going to do is we want to have something at the middle. Maybe we want to design a, um, a grey sweet shop. Okay, maybe I'll use my son's name, Samuel. So what we're going to do is... Um, on your this shaped this rectangle tool we just no we go to the ellipse tool click on it shift to have a that perfect circle so click shift and drag to have a perfect circle like it white bring it down a little bit just to have a how you like it and I'll select both just to make sure that it's align to selection so it when, when you align to artboard you're basically aligning here but you're just aligning to selection to where you're selecting just make sure it's in the middle just 
bring this up a bit. That's good. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And we'll get a stroke of maybe three. And maybe looks like a stroke. Maybe a brown stroke or I think I'll have a blue stroke. That's nice. Okay. That's good. So what we're gonna do is Samuel is S A M U E L. So that's six buntings. So I'm just gonna duplicate. So that's uh select all together, alt shift release then control or command D four five six okay and I'm gonna write his name Samuel just speak into caps S A M U E L I'm gonna I like this um I'm gonna give you the resource way I get this one from and it will be on the screen. The the, the type, I mean the font that I'm going to use. It's free. You can download it online. It's called Corner Bakery Regular. And I really quite like this font a lot. So I'm just going to spread the kernings between. The, the kerning means the spaces between the letters. So we'll press Alt and arrow to your right. If you want to uh, make it closer, that's arrow to your left, alt, pressing alt. So I just want to um, make it a bit further to the right. I think the size is good. Yep. And I want to create uh, each lettuce as a path, so as an object. So I'll either control shift O, or you could go to type, create outlines, shift control O. But I like my shortcut keys. So I'll ungroup it. Control Shift or Command Shift G. There you go. So yes. Samuel is my second son. And I have two sons and a daughter. And Samuel is quite a sweet little boy and he loves teddy bears too. So that's why I thought of him. Okay, so we are done. Very easy to do. You can do happy birthday, thank you, or whatever that you like. Uh, we could also do a, a picture of a teddy bear if you like. So maybe we could bring in one of the teddy bears. Um, we'll bring in this... Um, so we'll bring in this little teddy bear we'll take you let borrow you for a while and we'll just minus this control V so it could be it could be anything you like it could be a picture of your son or your daughter Oops, we'll delete that and it's very pretty very cute so there are many many other printables that you can create uh, using my resources. Um, I've done a, a example here. So you can do the bunting like I've just showed you how. Uh, you can do a water bottle labels which you can wrap around your water bottles. Uh, there's putty hats which we've done as well. Uh, with thank you cards. You can get a buffer labels, buffet labels. So a bag graphics um, it's all under my resources all you have to do is just copy paste and just write whatever that you want um, it's, it's pretty straightforward there's party circles cupcake topper um, I think I'm not sure how you do this but I think you put a little stick in the middle here Oops. and you just stick it with your party circles and just pop it on top of your cupcake just to make their cupcake look pretty yep so there's many many more you can do <laughs> for more ideas you could go online and check out um, I'll just bring it over quickly here to show you 
There's many other types of uh, party printables that you can do. Yes, I think this is the party, the uh, cupcake topper, and all sorts. So it's very fun, you know, once you have the resources, it's just easy for you to do. And I hope you really like my tutorial today and I hope you learned something. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click the bell button. I'll see you next time. Bye.